hi guys, we're back again. We've found another cracker of a spot. Uh, it's in Mafra, or just out of Mafra. It's the, uh, the Mafra Shed. We've got an automobile collection in there. They've got a few autos here. Looks like they've seen a few better days, I reckon. And this is where we are. Not another camper in sight. This is a free camp, by the way, um, just out of Mafra. And I believe there is a brewery just down that way, and that's where we're headed now. So we've got our bikes loaded up, we're almost ready, and we're going to take off. Okay, we're heading towards the pub. Be a, an interesting little place. The Mafco. Oh, this is an interesting little place. We'll have to come up here. I think we should go get ourselves a beer. What do you reckon? Uh, I'll just take the box in there. Okay. Whoa. Well, hi guys. We're just coming into the Mafco Brewery. And we're just going to go up to the bar here and maybe just have a couple of little drinks. And we're going to meet the bartender, Darcy. How are you, Darcy? Good, thanks, mate. How are we? Oh, we're good. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're a bit thirsty uh, yeah. on our bike rides, and I see you poured a couple of pots for us. Of course. <laughs> That's a hazy XBA. It's a bloody good drop, that one. Yeah, so this is a really good place to come, isn't it? Of course, of course. Yeah. Great it's, atmosphere, it's good start, beer. When's it start kicking off? When's it start kicking off? Friday, Saturday nights, if I've got live music, you can guarantee yeah. there's going to be a few people here having a bit of fun. Yeah, good. absolutely. Good. good. And the beers you've got on tap, what do we got? Alrighty, so, starting from your left to right, we've got our Mafco Lager, the Hot Bay Nebula, which is a um, double dry hopped, double New England IPA. That is bloody beautiful, 7.7%. Can be, can be quite dangerous. Okay, guys, you've got to get onto that yeah. one. I've had a couple of ring-ins at the minute just because I'm running a bit low. So I've got the Borough uh, Golden Ale, which is a nice midi, down local from Curran Borough. We go to Owl Pale Ale. I've got a Pash Pine Pot, which is a passion fruit and pineapple sour beer, 3.7, so it's on your mid-strength scale. Beautiful on a nice hot day, very refreshing. I've just kegged me the Burroughs um, ginger beer, or beer ginger, as they like to call it. Right. I've got our Mafco Colesfest, so it's our play on a German style Pilsner, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And then I've got our cider as well. So our cider is a medium sweet cider, not too dry, not too sweet, very nice on a nice warm day as well. Well, there you go, guys. You've heard that straight from Darcy's mouth. You've got to come down here and have a look at this place. We're just going to take a little wander up the back there and we'll, we'll have a little look around. So now Darcy told us to go up the stairs here so we can have a little look around. This used to be an old grain store. And just going up the top. And check this view out from the top. This place is awesome. So yeah, not too bad for an old grain store. Plenty of comfy chairs. And the view you get out from outside Absolutely breathtaking. Well, I'm going to head down with Robin, finish that beer, and we might get on our box and head back if we haven't had too many.
Okay, we've just been talking to one of the owners, Nikki. and Nikki, and apparently this is what um, the restaurant used to look like, which is uh, a bit of a mess. So let's go inside and see what it looks like now. Oh, wow. So this is a, a farm to fork. Here's the, um, where the produce comes from. Oh, right. So you can Different. find out where everything that you eat here comes from. And uh, it, the menu changes obviously fairly regularly because it depends on what's happening on the farms at the time. So Gosh, you've really found out a yes, lot, haven't you? Yes, here. And uh, yeah, at the moment this is open on Wednesday and Thursday for dinner. Um, meals are still out, out in the, um, I don't know what you call it, the, the bar? Brewery. The, the brewery. The brewery, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you can still get meals out there. So this is really a lovely little place compared to that photo that we just showed you. Uh, it's just awesome. They've kept the um, feel of the, the brick. They've cleaned it up. They've got the beautiful um, oh. old rafters or okay. whatever this is. So... We're going to have to say this, aren't we? What's that? If you're coming to Mafra, oh, yes. you yes. must come to yeah. Mafco oh, yeah. and check this place yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 even if it's just for the building, if you're into architecture and things like that, this was a... An, um, <laughs> a wheat and grain store, I think. No, no, no. Actually. It was a, a um, dairy originally. Oh, the dairy. Very then, originally. Then it was a grain store. store. Then it was sort of like a warehouse. Then it was... So it's been multi-purpose. Multi-purpose, but originally um, yeah. a dairy. And there's the um, Sepato or whatever they call it, dairy. There's so, a building out there. We'll show you that in a minute. Okay. And So, enough of us barring on. <laughs> Let's go and check out the outside of this building because really it is amazing. Yeah. So if you're coming down to Mafra, Mafco, you've got to see it awesome. So let's go. We're going to just take you back, not to have a look at the garden, but if we step over here and turn around, you can actually see what this place actually looks like. The architecture is absolutely brilliant. It's a beautiful building. Uh, and they've renovated it to within an inch of its life, but they've preserved everything. It's so cool. They've reused timbers for the tables and the, and the bar. And so we'll just, just go for a walk around. I hope this isn't too boring, but to us, to repurpose another building uh, for this type of thing is absolutely brilliant. And almost every turn of the corner of this place, there's something new and so, something exciting. And look at that. <laughs> something shiny. <laughs> oh, that's shiny and new, isn't it? Okay. Oh, that is so cool. So... Obviously, yeah. I could just coffee imagine and things like that or something, I'm supposing. It could be an outside bar or... Yes. Got tables and little nooks and crannies everywhere. Looks like they've even got some old church pews. Oh. <laughs> We're just stepping back looking at the architecture of this place. It's just... It's absolutely breathtaking. Come on guys, you've got to get behind this place. If you're in Mafra, you must come here. You mm -hmm. have to come here. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Just to yeah. soak in the ambiance. <laughs> and what we've got here is um, one of the old trucks. It's got a bit of a flat tire, but <laughs> hell, who cares? It looks like there's some refrigeration units at the back here. And we're moving around. We're just trying to sneak peek a few different things here. I'm not going to say, you come around the corner and you see something absolutely spectacular. I just love the old architecture. Have a look at the doors on there. Oh, the doors are magic. <laughs> so big and solid. Mm. 
the old Chevy, the livestock transport. <laughs> I mean, where do you get places like this? This is amazing. And across the way, if you look over here, that's the... Um, the actual actually, dairy now, isn't it? Well, no, this, this was the dairy that took over, that became the dairy. Um, you can see the name there, um, Saputo or whatever. But the trouble is that's now closed down too. But the trucks come here and um, use the washing bays and things like that. But now apparently all the milk goes to um, Lee and Gatha. Look, Lee and I Gatha really here. hope that you're enjoying this because we are, aren't we? Definitely. Oh, absolutely amazing. And Darcy behind the bar, he is just um, outstanding. And Nikki, the... And um, Nikki, one of the owners, owners yep, uh, we was. got talking to her just a little while ago and she gave us a little bit of a rundown of the place. Yeah. Now, and then if we turn around, the car park. so we're at the car park, cars Pew. parked. It's nice and quiet, so we've come at a good time. And if we spin it around, we'll actually see. And this is what we actually came into. So we've got all the brewing equipment there. And they distill gin as well. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> and look, we've even got our own <laughs> car parks for our bikes. <laughs> Not that we're riding home intoxicated. An outdoor bee garden. So, these are the magical doors that you'll actually enter through to Matco. Well, we're on another bike ride this morning. We're following the McAllister River. Uh, we're at the back of Mafra, and we've found these awesome bike trails, haven't we? Yeah, good little tracks, walking tracks as well, and um, yeah, it yeah, dotted along the way. And we did see a great playground for the kids, so if you've got any kids, um, keep watching because the playground is pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, yeah, yeah really good, good playground. It's so, a nice place here, it's all nicely yeah. kept. So we're going to jump on our trusty bikes and we'll be wearing our helmets, of course. Um, we'll see where this adventure takes us. Yep. True bite. <laughs> okay, just in the distance here you can see part of the McAllister River. But the bike trail is just awesome. Going across the little bridge. And we'll just stop there and just have a quick look. It's like a little enchanted forest. So we better catch up to uh, Robin but on our bikes. I don't think we've got a problem there. There's a lot of good little picnic spots and oh, look what we've got. We've got the Port of Mafra. Don't think that's been used. And on this side we have a nice undercover barbecue area. Another little bridge. Oh, how cool is this? With all the reeds. And we're off again. It looks a little swampy in that area over there, but uh, not too bad. Now, I did promise the kids a playground. So we're just coming into that now. Uh, looks like the remnants of an old house. And here's a great little adventure playground.
a couple of cows in the paddock. These little tracks just meander in and out of just about everywhere. So if you've got an electric bike or even just an ordinary bike, this would be a great track to just play around on. And we might just finish this little bit of video off with a look at the McAllister. Looks like there's been a tree come down over there in the last storm. But uh, certainly it's a beautiful place. Well, hi guys. Welcome Hello. to another van talk with uh, Robin and mm -hmm. Peter, Oz Travelog. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you've enjoyed the Mafra experience. Um, we certainly did, didn't we? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was great. It's, yeah. We just stayed there for two nights, free yeah. camping, or off-grid camping if you like to call it, and it was free. <laughs> but the most important thing is you've got to be self-contained in this place yes. because it only has a dump point. There's no toilet facilities, so... No shower. Um, no um, shower. Yep. Fresh water was, we yeah. didn't actually need any, but there was a Yeah, yeah there was fresh water, yeah. fresh water available, but. And um, there's like a, 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 a barbecue a area. A barbecue area that um, is. It's operated by a, the, yeah, um, the MAFRA. Yeah, the, the, um, the Gippsland um, Vehicle Collection place, it's right there, which yeah. you, you would have seen. Uh, they've got a master switch that they can turn it on and it's yeah. used just. So if you ask nicely <laughs> and maybe visit the MAFRA shed, uh, they'll turn the power on for you so you can have your barbecues and uh, seating facilities and all that sort of stuff. But look, it's a fantastic free camp. Um, it's The, the, the grasslands were perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah. Plenty of room. Um, we were there on our own the first night. The second afternoon, yeah. I think it was, um, two other... Yeah. Two other vans and... A couple of others pulled up as two, well. Two... Two... Um, yeah, so the, um, what do you call them? <laughs> camper vans. Kill, yes. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, a few other people rocked up, but look, it wasn't overcrowded. No. There's plenty of, yeah. plenty of space up there. So if you're looking for an overnight stay or a couple of days, um, yeah, maybe that's a good place to stop. Um, now, on our trip, we also visited MAFCO. And I'm going to give a big shout out to Darcy, who... Uh, who really go? Who really is has a lot of enthusiasm mm -hmm. for the place. Mm -hmm. He was a great ambassador for the Mafra, yeah. um, uh, Maf for Mafco. The, the Mafco, the brewery, yeah. and yeah. Uh, and yeah. it's it will be producing gin as well, uh, distilling gin. Um, not yet, but soon because they're going to get a permit or something. They've also got a fantastic restaurant. There, oh, the restaurant's lovely. Yeah, yep. Tucker. Yeah, apparently, well, as you saw in the video, the, the place had been uh, derelict for quite some time and um, the ladies there absolutely renovated it to an inch of its life. So if you really want to have a look at um, some magnificent um, uh, infrastructure or, or architecture, or, um, architecture or whatever, just, yeah. It was fantastic. It's wonderful to see the older buildings uh, re repurposed, repurposed, but also kept very the the innards obviously are different, but the structure and the beams and the bits and pieces, yeah, it was beautiful, big building, lovely, Abs absolutely stunning. So. If you go to Mafra, you must visit mm. those two places. There is another free camp in town, which we showed you. Which is only like <laughs> we were only like a k out of town anyway yeah. and this one was uh, probably 400 meters or whatever further in town so you, you just it's yeah it was just a little small one that yeah it was just a tiny little one mm. um they don't have a lot of camp spots uh but again they've got a dump facility mm. i don't think there was toilets there no no um so there again you have to be self-contained again so i hope you've enjoyed mafra Oh, and, and and we did the bit of the rail oh, trail. How could I forget? Yeah, the rail on our trails. bikes. So we we managed to get that done. So we yeah. did all those in the three two days that we were there. So if you like riding your bike, or if <laughs> yeah. you like going Walk, for walks, yep. uh, the rail trail fantastic. And, and then there's wetlands area as well, and um, oh, it's very yeah. pretty. Yep. Yeah. Along so, the McAllister River, which 
continues down from Montana where we were. Yep. So if you're in Gippsland area, a couple of good places to stay. Check out Montana. There's also Paradise Valley, which is up there as well. There's uh, also Lake Glenmaggie. Lake Glenmaggie, yep. Um, Hayfield, another good one. Mm. Um, the Berry Dairy, got to check that one out. Yep, that's, that's pretty cool. Yep. Um, yeah, so lots, lots of good places. And there's places a winery as well, which we didn't get yeah. to. Um, there's a Glen Maggie winery and... Um, Look, we'll check we it out. If we, we find the out the name of that, we'll put that down below. So, anyway, I think it's time for us to sign off. Again, thank you for watching our videos. And if you have enjoyed what you've seen, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Uh, also, a like, um, subscribe. And if you want to, you can actually share our videos as well. This will help grow our channel and give us the enthusiasm to continue. <laughs> so, from Robin and Peter, Oz Travelog, thank you again for watching and hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thank you. Bye. Bye.